is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Rivet. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. I sentence you. Slogans and mottos. Edgar Allan Poe. The Old Country. Baseball potpourri. And what planet are you from? A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player one, make a selection. It has seasonal weather patterns and iron-rich minerals in the soil giving it a distinct red color. It's player one. That is correct. <laughs> we return to you, player one. Greater in mass than all the other planets combined, it's surrounded by dozens of moons. Let's hear it, player one. Correct. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next selection. It's the smallest and densest of the outer gas giants and has an appropriate name, as it has a watery interior. It's player one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> player one, pick again. Its mean distance from the sun is only about 36 million miles. It's player one. <laughs> you are correct. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. You again, player one. Bands of debris and ice surround it, as do its satellites, including Titan. Player one. <laughs> Sorry, oh. that's wrong. Anyone else? Here's what we were looking for. Saturn. Select again. It takes a lickin' and keeps on ticking. It's player one. That is correct. <laughs> Select again. The MVP of the World Series receives an award named for this Yankee slugger. Let's hear it, player one. Good. <laughs> Select again. It's the vegetable term for a lazy fly ball that's easy to catch. Player one. You got it. <laughs> player one, choose again. Here's Kelly. She'll show you. A good place to hit the ball is here. The traditional alliterative term for the center of percussion on a baseball bat. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. In 1962, this Dodger shortstop stole 104 bases, breaking Ty Cobb's 47-year-old record. Okay, player one. Yes. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. Inducted into Baseball's Hall of Fame in July of 2007, he won eight National League batting titles during his 20-year career. Yes, player one. You are correct. 
Layer 1, back to you. Here's Sarah from our Clue Crew with the clue. Shown here on the upper right, it changed its name in 1935. It's Player 1. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Player 1, you pick again, please. All the news that's fit to print. Yes, Player 1. Right you are. <laughs> you get to pick again, Player 1. Choosy moms choose this. It's player one. Right. <laughs> Select again. Because I'm worth it. Okay, player one. You got it. <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. Answer, <laughs> it's the Daily Double. And you're in the lead now. What are you going to wait? And the clue. With a name like this one, it has to be good. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Player one, choose again. According to an 1833 description, Poe dressed entirely in this color. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> Select again. Poe's wife, who passed away at age 24, had this name, like the state at whose university Edgar studied. Okay, player one. No. Nope. Sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? The correct response is Virginia. Player one, you pick again, please. It's used in abbreviations and initials as well as to end sentences. Player one? That is correct. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Player one, back to you. The first obituary of Poe which spoke of the frailties of genius appeared in this city's Sun newspaper. Player three? No, that's not right. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? It's player one. Right. <laughs> player one, choose again. It was Siam until 1939. Yes, player one. You are correct. <laughs> Player one, choose again. Burton Braley contradicted himself and wrote, This is a word you mustn't end a sentence with. Yes, Player one? <gasps> nope. Any other takers? Here's what we were looking for, a preposition. Player one, pick again. In 1842, Poe reviewed this British author's Barnaby Rudge, which features, hmm, a human-like raven. Okay, player one. Sorry, that's wrong. Any
Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player two. Yes. <laughs> Where do we begin, player two? Poe won an 1833 short story contest with a story about one of these found in a bottle. Okay, player one. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player two. No. Oh! Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Okay, player three. Right, <laughs> on the plus side again. Player three, where do we start? Until 1972, it was Ceylon. Yes, player one? No. Oh. Any other takers? Let's hear it, player three. Oh. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Okay, player two. Right. Yeah. And you're back into some money. All right, let's get back into this. Player two has control of I did it, did you do it, or do it. It's the imperative sentence. Okay, player one. Correct. <laughs> player one, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. It was the Khmer Republic from 1970 until 1975. It's player one. Right. Yeah! <laughs> player one, choose again. This type of sentence has multiple independent clauses and no dependent clauses. It's player one. Yeah! Right you are. <laughs> you again, player one. Until 1975, it was the Malagasy Republic. Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. <laughs> Here's the $1,000 clue for you. The name of this punctuation mark comes from a Greek word meaning peace cut off. It's player one. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here is what we wanted. The comma. Player three is in third place and will select first in the double jeopardy round as we always do, right after this break. Blues are worth $400 to $2,000 in these categories. Martial arts. Playing possum. TV math. Emperors, 19th century literature, and double talk. Player three, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. In the West, the ninja combat weapons known as shuriken are called throwing these. Player two. No. Oh. Anyone else? Let's hear it, player one. Right. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Okay, let's get back into this, player one. You Fred McMurray's title sons 
minus Paul Reiser's title dads. Yes, player three? Right, <laughs> on the plus side again. Player three, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. Colonel Steve Austin's title worth, plus the amount of title days at a time for Bonnie Franklin. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> Player one, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. Check it out. It's how I refer to my flashy diamonds and gold chains. Okay, Player two. Good Ooh. for you. <laughs> Player two, where do we start? The OED defines it as Faint or barely audible speech. Let's hear it, player one. You are correct. <laughs> player one, start us. John Ritter's sitcom, Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter, Times John Ritter's sitcom, Company. Let's hear it, player one. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player three. That's not it. Any other takers? Player two. Good for you. Player two, you start. Careful. Tina Fey's title rock minus Ashton Kutcher's title men. Let's hear it, player three. Good. <laughs> On the plus side again. Player three, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. Hawkeye's unit number in MASH plus John Lithgow's title Rock from the Sun. Player one? That's correct. <laughs> Player one, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. Like wombats and bandicoots, possums are members of this group of about 270 species. Yes, player one? No, that's not right. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the correct response. Marsupials. Chuck Berry knows this sweet little number of days is the typical gestation period of a possum. Let's hear it, player one. Good. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. In karate, a hiji is a strike with this body part. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, know what I mean? Okay, player three. That is correct. <laughs> player three, start us. The folding Filipino fighting knife called a balisong is also known by this insect name. Okay, player two. Sorry. Any other takers?
It's player one. Right. Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's get back into this. Answer. Yeah! <laughs> the first of the daily doubles. You are in first place. Player one, please select your wager. Answer this. Krav Maga is the official self-defense system of this Mideast country's defense forces. However, you keep your lead. Here's the correct response. Israel. Player one, back to you. Opposition led by Santa Anna limited the reign of this country's Agustin I to 10 months. Let's hear it, player one. No, that's not right. Anyone else? Here is what we wanted. Mexico. Player one, choose again. You'll find whale boats not only in his masterpiece, but also in his story Benito Sereno and his novel Mardi. It's player one. That's it. Player one, you pick again, please. Stick to it. In 1948, this Walt Kelly possum hit the funny pages. Player three? Hey, you're right. Where do we begin, player three? Australia and New Guinea are home to the five species of this type of possum that may weigh as little as a quarter of an ounce. Player two. Right. Oh. Player two, you start us off. The flying possum doesn't fly. Well-developed flaps of skin along its flanks have it known by this six-letter term. Okay, player two. Right. Select again. Scandalous 19th century French dance. Okay, player one. Yes. <laughs> Player one, make a selection, please, as we continue. In Uncle Tom's cabin, St. Clair, Tom's master, is killed. Tom is then sold to this brutal, drunken planter. Player two. That's yeah! correct. Player two, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. In Pedro Antonio de Alarcón's The Three Cornered This, a miller thinks his wife is having an affair with the mayor. Let's hear it, player one. No. Oh. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the correct response. Hat. Player two, back to you. The last name of the title character of this Thomas Hardy novel is actually Derbyfield. Yes, player one? That's not it. 
Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here is what we wanted. Tess of the Durbervilles. Player two, back to you. For 14 years, the Abbe Faria was his fellow prisoner in the Chateau d'If. Yes, player three? You yeah! are correct. <laughs> player three, where do we start? Answer, <laughs> the second daily double. Player three, you're in last place, but here's an opportunity to please enter your wager. Answer this. In the 1950s, this secret militant movement opposed British rule in Kenya. Worked out for you. You're now in second. Player three, pick again. In a children's song, Dear Little Nelly is way down yonder in this fruit patch. Let's hear it, player three. That's right, way to go. <laughs> player three, back to you. Alfonso VI, who died in Toledo in 1109, called himself emperor of two religions, Christianity and this. Player one. Oh. Any other takers? Here is what we wanted. Islam. We return to you, player three. Last name of Louis, brother and father of French emperors. Okay, player three. Yeah, good. <laughs> Please pick again, player three. A Balkan and a Shinai are two types of swords used in this Japanese martial art, whose name means Way of the Sword. Okay, player one. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Player one, you start us off. He was crowned emperor on Christmas Day, 800. It's player one. Hey, you're right. <laughs> now let's take a look at that $2,000 clue, shall we? Here's Sarah. She'll show you. The cartouche seen here denotes this emperor, the ruler of Heliopolis. It's player one. Sorry. Anyone else? We're talking about Ramses. Looks like you'll all be moving on to Final Jeopardy after this break. We've got the final Jeopardy round here for you, and today it features this category. Notable women. Please enter your wager. Our final Jeopardy clue today is, in 1963, she said, I feel as though I'm suddenly on stage for a part I never rehearsed. What did you say? And that correct response will add... And your response? And that will lose you. And your response? 
And no. that will set you back. <laughs> this makes you our new champion, Player One. So congratulations. Good game, everyone. And thank you so much for playing.